Well, hello and welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog is entitled Shot Show, The Great Reset. Um, as many of you know, especially if you saw last week's video, uh, I was at Shot Show in my annual pilgrimage to Las Vegas. Um, and every year I do this blog, right, where we talk about some of the things that we saw at SHOT. And there were some cool things, okay? Um, but I really kind of want to get into some of the little bit more esoteric aspects of SHOT. So one of the, uh, and for those of you who don't know, SHOT Show is the, um, for lack of a better term, it's the firearms industry's version of the Detroit Auto Show, okay? Um, manufacturers introduce new products to the marketplace. It's not a show like a gun show where you can buy stuff, uh, unless, of course, you're a purchasing agent, you're buying, you know, 30,000 units of something. And that's what it's really intended for. It's intended to, to showcase to purchasing agents products that these manufacturers have developed that they would hope that the purchasing agents would then stock on their shelves. And what's interesting about it is that you've got, you know, 2,000 some odd vendors that are all doing their market research, all trying to determine what the buying public is going to want to purchase in the upcoming year. And they oftentimes come to similar conclusions. And you can sort of see like a theme that, you know, runs each shot show, right? You know, one year it's very, very, very tactical. And then another year they're focusing on cowboy guns and things like that. After COVID, things got, well, weird. All right. You started seeing a lot of smaller producers that were making products that you just kind of scratched your head and you thought, you know, why why would somebody want this or need this, right? And oftentimes the manufacturers themselves didn't have good answers for that. This year, it seems as though we've kind of gone back, all right? Um, there seems to be a kind of an interesting balance now between the, the tactical and the practical, for lack of a better term. Um, and it's somewhat refreshing to see because, you know, tactical was kind of like left out for a while. And it's nice to see that now coming back in. 511, our good friends there at 511, that's one of the sort of the, the, the key indicators, right? Um, you could see that one point, you know, a couple of years ago, the 511 booth looked like something that you would see, you know, uh, at some sort of training center, right? I mean, people rappelling off of the roof of the whole thing, and it was very, very, very tactical. Um, and then it kind of morphed into something that looked, I don't know, like a Lululemon store or something like that. It was far more athletic, okay? Um, now it seems to have kind of turned into a combination of both. Um, so anyways, kind of cool to see that. Um, it was also interesting to see how the politics have changed. Um, you know, in the past, it was, I will tell you, and this has not changed, there's always been an overarching concept of patriotism. I mean, that, that goes without question. But there used to be a lot of heavily oriented Republican, um, you know, sort of political messaging that would be promulgated at SHOT. That I did not see. Um, I didn't see anything supporting Joe Biden, I will tell you that, but I also didn't see anything supporting Donald Trump or Nikki Haley or anybody else for that matter. Um, and was what I would say pro-American, but totally agnostic when it comes to uh, par partisan politics. Um, that I think is also interesting, not so much for the people that are the ultimate consumers of these products. Remember, it's not open to the general public, but to the people who are now working in the firearms industry. There seems to be a broader uh, political demographic base that's starting to manifest there as well. Again, uh, my own personal viewpoint is that that is a good thing. Anyways, read the blog. I hope you enjoy it, as always. Uh, Train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, and train with purpose. Above all else, stay safe.